just would have been nice to see the people that I was um, arresting, <laughs> that I was sussing out. Hi, welcome to the podcast. I'm Joyce on your player one. And today, Indie House, we've got Echo Beach by Tim Sheeman. Shyman? Sheeman? Um, it's a puzzle game and it's like kind of a detective y game. Um, and a short premise is in the future, all music has been banned. As a clerk, at the ministry, your job is to hunt down the remaining musicians in their place of last refuge, um, the music net. And there's no content warnings for the game um, that I could find. I don't think there's any content warnings. Um, I didn't see anything while I played. It's free, available on Itchio for browser and Windows. It took me three hours and 30 minutes to play, exactly. And it wasn't super hard, but it got more difficult as it was on, like most puzzle games do. Um, but at the like the very end, I had to go in the Discord and like tr- for the game and try and figure out some of the puzzles at the very end. They were a little bit difficult for me. Um, but overall, the gameplay is super easy. It's just clicking on different things. And there is a mechanic uh, where you have to type in the, you either type in like dates, names, or places. Um, But it's pretty easy gameplay wise. It's more so the puzzles that are difficult. Um, But I really like the graphics, even though it's not like super specific graphics, like everything is kind of default graphic like wise. It's like, there's ID cards for every single person and there's like a board that you can click on that has all the names that you're trying to find and things like that and things get crossed off as you like check them off your list of people you have to arrest. Um, I also on the ID cards it would have been cool a cool touch if they had their face like their actual face on there. Um, I know that's probably a little bit difficult to do, considering you don't actually know what these people look like. (laughs) Like, it could have been nice, though, if they did have a character design of some sort, even if it wasn't, like, a part of the puzzle or anything. Like, it it just would have been nice to see the people that I was um, arresting, (laughs) that I was sussing out um, as a musical detective. I loved all of the songs in this game. All of the songs are so good. And I know they're somewhere online. I think they're on like Band Lab or something. I don't remember where, but I know that you can listen to the songs separately of the game. Um, I didn't know that while I was playing the game. So I ended up losing the game because I listened to the songs too much, which is a it's a mechanic of the, of the game that you're told about at the very beginning of the game. Like, if you get too invested, then they'll believe you're compromised and you'll also get arrested. Um, and that's what happened to me. I lost the game because of that. Even though I caught everybody, I, I lost the game because I got too invested. Um, but yeah, it was that, that was fine. I was fine with losing the game. By the time I got to to closer to the end, I realized that I had already lost the game. And I was like, it's whatever, I'll just listen to the songs anyway, because I liked the songs. Um, the writing and the story was really good. I love the story. And I, I think it's really interesting that you can lose. Like, I thought that was an interesting touch. Because most puzzle games, you just get stuck on the puzzles and there's no actual way to lose them. But I like that there's there's a good ending and a bad ending, and you can get the bad ending. I like that. Um, I also, <laughs> I I think I it just kind of went over my head, but I didn't realize that I was undercover as one of the artists. Like, I, I just didn't realize that that was why I kept seeing myself talking to a different person. Like, I didn't realize that that was what was going on until the very end when I lost the game and it was revealed. And I, I don't think that's supposed to be like a 
spoilery thing that I'm saying right now. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to know that you are one of the people, but whatever. That's fine. <laughs> I, I think it just went over my head. But if you play the game and you also don't realize, then maybe it is like a it's supposed to be a reveal at the end. I don't know. Um, but it's very detailed, the entire story. And like all of the puzzles contribute to like other puzzles. So you have to solve every single puzzle the correct way or else you'll get stuck, which I like. That was good. Um, my favorite part of the game was that all of the puzzles were fun. Like, they were all great puzzles, and I love, love, love a good puzzle. Um, I really need to go back and start playing Baba Is You again. Baba Is You is so fun, because the puzzles are so frustrating, but they're just good. They're so satisfying once you figure them out, and I love that. Um, and personally, my least favorite was that you can lose by listening to the songs in the game. I thought that was pretty silly. Cause some of like, if you're playing on browser, which I was playing on browser, the songs skip around like at the beginning of the song, like when you first press play. So you don't actually listen to the song. Sometimes it's quiet at the beginning or something. And so like, I think that's a little bit unfair. And I also liked the song. So I wanted to listen to them more, but it's fine. I also didn't realize that it was counting the amount of times I listened to the songs until like way after the number turned red. And then I was like, okay, I've lost because this thing is red. Um, but yeah, that was fine. It wasn't that bad. Like out of all of the least favorites I could have given any game, like that is like a non issue. <laughs> it's just a me thing. Um, like I said, I used some comments on Itch.io and in the Discord to find some of the later people in the game because I can't do puzzles sometimes. Like, I think I was just a little bit burnt out, but I was very determined to finish the game in one sitting. So I just used some tips, you know, tips and tricks. But I didn't look at any spoilers. I like just looked for the... Um, like helpful tips so that I could solve the puzzle myself still. And yeah, I definitely recommend this game. It's so good. The puzzles got pretty hard at the end, like I said, but it was definitely worth it. And even though I lost it, I was still satisfied with finishing every single puzzle because you have to finish all of the puzzles to even get to the end of the game where you can win or lose. So that's good. I kind of wish I was able to go back and play the game again and win so I could see the winning ending. But um, it did take me like four hours to play. And I am a full time college student taking 16 credits. So I do not have time to do that. But yeah, maybe at some point I'll be able to go back and play it again and see how to win because now I know all of the puzzles. Well, I know all of the puzzles in theory, I'll say that. I might have forgotten some of them. But I definitely recommend this game, like I said, and I think I'm going to rate it an 8 out of 10 tokens. Great job, Tim Sheeman. Great job. Thank you guys for joining me on this episode of Indie House. And be sure to rate the episode and let me know your thoughts. I've got a Discord server called Indie House Official, which would be a great place to give your feedback and talk to me, my collaborators, or other listeners of the show. If you have any indie game suggestions, feel free to comment below or hit me up at IndieHouse underscore pod on Twitter or Instagram using the hashtag IndieHouseGaming. And if you would like to support the podcast and get some cool extra content, you can find the Patreon in the card. Catch us next week on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts. See y'all on the next level. Bye!